All right, so we just got done talking about conditional probability, multiplication rule, and at least one problems in the context of a table and picking people. So now let's talk about those three same concepts with rolling a die. Part A, if a 20-sided die is rolled, what's the probability of getting a number bigger than 8 or a multiple of 6? When I roll this dice, what are, all, what are all the numbers I can get? I can get a 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way up to 20 because it's a 20-sided die. And in this problem, I'm talking about numbers bigger than 8. Uh, let me circle the numbers bigger than 8. So bigger than 8 means you don't include 8. So bigger than 8 will be 9, 10, 11, 12, all the way up to 20. All of the circle numbers are bigger than 8. And then I'm also talking about multiples of 6. This means count by 6. Uh, let me put boxes around those. Multiple of 6 would be 6. Plus 6 again would be 12, plus 6 again would be 18. Okay. Probably of getting a number bigger than 8, or, keyword here is or. Bottom is going to be all, all, all different numbers I can get. So how many different numbers can I get? 20. For top, I went bigger than 8 or multiple of 6. So or means, remember, you're going to take the two sets, combine them, and get a bigger set. In other words, I want all of the boxes together with all of the circles. In other words, I want any number that's uh, in red. How many are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Part B. If a 20 side dies road, what's the probability of getting a number bigger than 8 and, keyword here is and, a multiple of 6. Bottom here is going to be um, all the total. So how many numbers are a total? 20. The top and means, remember, at the same time. So I want the numbers bigger than 8 that are at the same time multiples of 6. I want the numbers that are circled and at the same time boxed. Which numbers are circled and at the same time boxed? 12, 18. So there's two of them. Part C. If a 20 side dies road, what's the probability of getting a number bigger than 8 given? Keyword here is given. That the number is a multiple of 6. So the word given tells me that this is a conditional probability. And for conditional probabilities, I do recommend using the notation. So I'm looking for bigger than 8 given multiple of 6 anytime you have a conditional probability uh, you should focus on some numbers so what should we focus on you should focus on the given part which is the second part multiples of 6. For the top and the bottom. So focusing on just the multiples of 6, which are the boxes, how many are there total? 3. Okay, so that's the total for the bottom. And then still just focusing on multiples of 6, how many are bigger than 8? So just the Multiples of 6, so just the boxes, how many are bigger than 8? Those two. Part D. If a 20 side dies road, what's the probability of getting a multiple of 6 given? Once again, I see the word given. This is going to be conditional probability. Given that the number is bigger than 8. So in symbols, I'm looking for multiple of 6. given bigger than 8. Because it's conditional probability, I should be focusing on some numbers. What should I focus on? 
You should be focusing on the given part, which is the, the second part. The numbers are bigger than 8. For the top and the bottom. Right, so focusing just on the numbers bigger than 8, how many are there total? So these are our circles. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, there's 12 total. That's my bottom number. And then still focusing on the numbers bigger than 8, how many are multiples of 6? So focusing just on the circles, how many are multiples of 6? Those two, so 2. Part E. If two 20-sided dice are rolled, what's the probability that both are bigger than 8? So we're talking about 2 now. I should have two fractions. And both of these I want bigger than 8. Bigger 8. Bigger 8. Okay, first fraction, the bottom. How many are there total? 20. And how many are bigger than 8? Uh, these are the circles 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12. For the second fraction, this is where dice differ from the people and the table. Right? When when in the for the table example, when we're picking people, when I pick the first person, I'm not picking that same person again for the second slot. And that's why we have to reduce by one. For dice though, when I roll a dice, for the second time I roll a dice, I can still get all 20 numbers again, right? Any of the all, any of the 20 numbers. So for when you roll dice multiple times, you don't reduce. Okay? So that means that for the second dice, I should have the full 20. And for the top, bigger than 8, cuz no matter what I picked uh, for the first slot, when I roll a dice, it just resets itself and you have the full uh, count for the second slot. So for the second slot, bigger than 8, I should still have the full 12. Okay, and that's the key difference between dice and the table example where we're picking people. Part F, if two 20-sided dice are rolled, what's the probability that the first row is bigger than 8 and the second row is a multiple of 6? Uh, two dice again, that's two fractions. First one I want to be bigger than 8. Second one, multiple of 6. First fraction, the bottom is going to be everything. So the total, how many numbers are there total? There's 20. How many are bigger than 8? Bigger than 8 are the circles. I think we counted already. Um, that was 12. Yeah, 12. And then again, for, for dice, you don't reduce. So the second fraction will be the bottom will be the full 20. Multiples of 6. These are my boxes. 3. And I, I don't have to think about reducing at all. So it's the full 3. Part G. If two 20-sided dice are rolled, what's the probability that at least one number is a multiple of 6? Okay, keyword here is at least one. Okay, so we're looking for at least one multiple of 6. And the way we do at least one is 1 minus the probability none. So none multiple of 6. How many fractions do I need? We're talking about two dice, so two fractions. So rolling two dice, and I want none of them to be a multiple of 6. So what does that mean? So none of them multiple of 6 means not multiple of 6, not multiple of 6. So once again, even though we're looking for multiple of 6, because we're, we're doing it using complements, the fraction should be not. 
not multiple of six, not multiple of six. First fraction, the bottom is going to be um, the total, which is 20. Second fraction, uh, since dice you don't reduce, it's going to still be 20. Up top, how many are not multiple of six? So these are the boxes. So how many are not boxes? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. So 17 not multiple sixes and then for the second one you, sh you should still have the full 17 because we're not reducing. Now let's talk about cards. Part A. If a card is selected from a standard deck of cards, what's the probability of getting a face card or a heart? Keyword I see here is the word or. For the bottom, how many cards are there total? There's uh, 52. And the word or means I want all the face cards combined with all the hearts. So all the face cards, which would be the last three columns. So that's, what is that? One, two, three times four. So that's 12 face cards combined with the hearts. And, but I don't want to count the, the heart, these hearts twice, the J, Q, K hearts. So it's uh, these 12 plus one through 10 hearts. That's 22 total. Part B. If a card is selected from a standard deck of cards, what's the probability of getting a face card and a red card? Keyword I see here is and. The bottom, uh, how many cards are there total? 52. Okay, and remember means at the same time. So I want the face cards that are at the same time red. Face cards that are at the same time red. In other words, red face cards. Six. So JQK hearts, JQK diamonds. Six. Part C. If a card is selected from a standard deck of cards, what's the probability of getting a face card given, keyword here is given, that the card is a red card, right? So this is conditional probability. I'm going to use uh, notation here. I'm looking for face given red. Conditional probability means that I'm going to focus on certain cards. What am I focusing on? So you're focusing on a given part, which is the second part, the red. So we're going to focus on red. for the top and the bottom. Let's start with the bottom. So focusing just on the red, how many are there total? So just the red cards, which is the bottom two rows. Uh, there's 13 in, in each row, which means there's 26 red cards total. And then for the top, still focusing on just the red cards, how many are face? So just the red cards, how many are face? Jack, Queen, King, Hearts, Jack, Queen, King, Diamonds, six. Part D, if a card is selected from a standard deck of cards, what's the probability of getting a heart given that the card is a face card? Given, this is conditional probability. I'm gonna write symbols. I want heart given face. Right. Conditional probability, I should be focusing on certain cards. What am I focusing on? So the given part, which is the usually the second part. So I'm focusing on face for both the top and the bottom. Okay, let's start with the bottom here. Focusing just on the face cards, how many are there total? So just the face cards. Just the face cards would be Jack, Queen, King. Uh, in each row. So that's Jack, Queen, King. That's three times four rows. Three times four is 12. There's 12 face cards total. And then for the top, focusing just on the face cards, how many are heart? So just the face cards, how many are heart? Jack, Queen, King, hearts. Three. Three. 
Part E. If three cards are selected from standard deck of cards, what's the probability that the first card is a king of clubs, the second card is a club, the third card is a black card? Okay, so three cards, three fractions. And let me write the first card I want to be king clubs. So I'll write K club. Second club. Third black card. All right, so let's start with the first fraction. First fraction, bottom is going to be the total. And then how many are king clubs? First row here is clubs, king. That's it, just one. Second fraction. Now, for cards, I'm picking a card, and then I'm picking another card, and then I'm picking another card. That's what it means to pick three cards. I'm picking a card, I'm not putting it back, I'm picking another card. So for cards, because I'm not putting it back, I should have one less card. So for the bottom here, I should be down to 51. And then for the same reason, uh, for the third fraction, I should be down to 50. So for cards, you reduce. For the table, you reduce. The only one where you don't reduce is the 20-sided die, the dice. Okay? All right. Second, uh, second fraction, I just want club. So club would be first row. How many are there total? Uh, first row would be 13 total. But... Uh, you do have to think about whether you have to reduce or not. So total is 13, but have you used any clubs yet? Yes. So you do have to reduce by one. We're down to 12. Third blank. Uh, black. How many cards are black? So blacks would be first two rows. So each row is 13, that's 26 total. And now you have to think, do you have to reduce? Have you used any black cards yet? You use a king club, king club is black. Second blank, use a club, which is also black. So you actually have used two black, two, two black cards already, which means you have to reduce by two. So the total was 26 total, you have to reduce by two, which means you're down to 24. Part F. If three cards are selected from a standard deck of cards, what's the probability that the first card is a red face card, second card is a black card, third card is a red card? Okay, three cards. First one, I want to be red face card, so red face. Second card, black. And third card, red card. Okay, first fraction, the bottom, total. How many cards total? 52. And then cards, you reduce. So we're down to 51 for the second fraction and then 50 for the third fraction. First fraction, for the top, how many red face cards? Red face, uh, jack, queen, king, hearts, jack, queen, king, diamonds. Six red face cards. Second blank, black cards. Black cards would be top two rows. Top two rows would be 26 total. Do you have to reduce? Have you used any black cards yet? No, right? First card was red. So we haven't used any black cards yet. So we have the full 26. Last blank, uh, red cards. So red cards would be the bottom two rows which would be 26 total. But then you have to ask yourself, have you used any red cards yet? Yes, right, the first card was red. So we do have to reduce by one card. So we're down to 25. So make sure you understand why in part E, we reduce by two. And that's because uh, the first two slots were both black cards, right? King clubs, club, both black cards. Whereas in part F, we reduce by one because we only use one red card. G. 
If three cards are selected from standard deck cards, what's the probability that at least one card is heart? Okay, keyword at least one. So I want at least one heart. And the way you deal with, with at least one is you do one minus none. All right, so it's going to be one minus, and then decide how many fractions you need. We're talking about three cards, so three fractions. And then for each of these three fractions, what does it mean for none of them to be heart? So none of them heart means not heart, not heart, not heart. Okay, so once again, even though we're looking for at least one heart, because we're doing complement, you look for not heart, not heart, not heart. All right, first fraction, uh, the bottom is going to be the total. How many cards total? That's 52. And then we're talking about cards here, so you do reduce. So you should be reducing for the cards examples and also the table where we're talking about people. First blank. Uh, how many not hearts? Not heart. Not heart would be first row, second row, third row. So first row, second row, third row. That's uh, 13 cards per row. So 13 and then three rows. So 13 times 3, 39. Next one, I want to be another not heart. Um, because we use one not heart already, we do have to reduce. So we're down to 38. And then 37. And that's it for today's lecture. Have a great day. Talk to you guys later.